Welcome back to Inform Overload. I'm your information overlord, Johnny Rogers. If you happen to be new here, we find the most interesting news stories on the internet and then make them more entertaining. So don't forget to tap that subscribe button to never miss another story. And make sure you stay all the way to the end because as always, I will be reading some of your comments from previous videos. You wouldn't want to miss that. Dr. Disrespect is an American Twitch streamer and internet personality. And over the course of his career, he's garnered over 3.4 million followers who love the gamer's dominant trash talking and, well, skill that backs it all up. Today we'll be catching you up on what went down between Dr. Disrespect and the latest E3 conference that resulted in the Twitch streamer being banned from both Twitch and E3. Now, first and foremost, inviting someone to your function with the name Dr. Disrespect and expecting them not to misbehave is like buying a monkey and expecting them to not poop in their hands and then throw it at you. It's just in their nature to do so. Funny enough, potty humor is also what got Herschel, aka The Doc, into some hot water with both Twitch and E3. During a live stream broadcast of the conference, the two time had to take a number two, but instead of telling his camera guy to wait outside like any normal human being would, he had him follow him into the bathroom, for which the conference did not take kindly to. When first walking into the bathroom, he does a quick mustache mirror check and then oddly yells out for his bodyguard before saying to the thousands of people watching, ladies and gentlemen, I have to take a diarrhea. The camera then follows Doc right up until the point where he enters one of the stalls. And the main issue here is that not only was he recording in a bathroom, for which California law clearly states and prohibits the use of a camcorder, motion picture camera, or photographic camera of any type to secretly videotape, film, photograph, or record by electronic means another identifiable person who may be in a state of full or partial undress for the purpose of viewing the body of or the undergarments worn by that person without the consent or knowledge of that person in the interior of a bedroom, bathroom, changing room, fitting room, dressing room, or tanning booth, or the interior of any other area in which that person has a reasonable expectation of privacy. So in other words, that's a big oopsie. Although it's not just the fact that he was recording in the bathroom. According to Kotaku, they said Herschel entered the men's room with tens of thousands of people watching his stream, then shouted the word bodyguard, while E3 attendees, including one that looked to be a child, used urinals in the background. He then went into a stall. So not only was he recording adults, but a child as well, who you can clearly make out in the background is like kind of, he's kind of checking him out like, is that Dr. Disrespect? Is he? Is he filming me taking a pee? Now, it, that would have been bad enough if the doc had done this just once, but no, it didn't stop there. He later on re-entered the bathroom again. And after taking a lot of selfies with very excited fanboys, roaming the E3 floor, making fun of Nintendo booths and mobile gamers, he went back into the bathroom following his bodyguard, Dan the Body, capturing more surprised E3 fans just trying to do their business. Many of these conventions have a very strict anti-harassment policy on things like this, so as such, he promptly had his E3 badge revoked. Esports analyst Rod Breslow was the first to break the news about the bathroom antics, saying, actual breaking news, Doc has been banned slash suspended off Twitch for streaming inside the bathroom at E3, following the tweet up by saying that Twitch made the right call to suspend Doc. Since the incident, Dr. Disrespect's channel has been removed from Twitch, we're assuming because this violates also one of their key policies, which explicitly says that recording someone against their will or with the intent to harm them is part of their anti-harassment policy. Also adding that violating our policy against harassment will result in your account being suspended. Depending on the severity of the offense, harassers may be indefinitely suspended on the first violation. As you can imagine, many other big Twitch stars have spoken out about the ban on Dr. Disrespect. We had Tifu who posted a photo of himself in some weird Dr. Disrespect cosplay with a simple caption of free Dr. Disrespect. And following that, you had uh, other Twitch stars like Ninja commenting saying Mr. Respectful would have never slipped up this hard. Also, to note on that, I didn't think so many other Twitch streamers were such big fanboys of Dr. Disrespect. Like, Ninja also had a gear. Like, were they selling this at the convention? Where, where is everyone getting these, like, weird glasses and mustaches and awful mullets. Now while Tifu and Ninja both kind of disagree on this issue of the innocence of the doc, we kind of agree with Ninja on this one that when you break the rules, you need to be punished. It's just that simple. It's not like his channel will be permanently banned, but perhaps this time off will allow him to reflect on his actions and maybe, maybe just question just how far this character needs to go when operating in the real world. 
Although knowing Dr. Disrespect, you can be sure that he will have a lot to say once his stream is back up and running. My guess is that his followers will go up after all of this press coverage on the incident and that may negatively impact his future actions. If he's rewarded with people clamoring for more, it's not going to stop him from being crazier the next time he gets an opportunity like this. That being said, with a first offense like this for Dr. Disrespect's channel, it's probably only going to be a 24 hour ban on Twitch. Even though he had all of this bathroom shenanigans going down, people seem to be forgetting that he also heavily trash talked both mobile gamers as well as Nintendo fans. Like that hurt me. He even tweeted out that mobile gamers aren't real gamers. Following that on his live stream he walked past the Nintendo area saying, I feel like Nintendo people blend in with mobile gamers, right? Let's blend in. Duck then held his phone sideways pretending to be a mobile gamer while relentlessly mocking them by yelling, it's Nintendo, Nintendo, as he danced like a fool in front of the Nintendo booth. For me, that's more disrespectful than filming in a bathroom. But we want to hear your thoughts on this, so comment down below with where you stand on his Twitch and E3 banning. Are you offended by the mobile gamer comments as well as the bathroom filming, or do you think it was all harmless fun that's in line with his character? Let me know down below. Now let's check out some of your comments from the video titled, YouTube is banning minors from streaming. Comrade Savage 15 says, does YouTube think this is going to stop predators? Look, I'm assuming that that was part of their reasoning, but it's definitely not the full reasoning for doing such a thing, but look into it more. The FBI says, love that name, me after watching this channel for two years and realizing it's inform overload and not inform overlord. Insert surprise Pikachu meme here. I'm the inform overlord and this channel is overloading you with information, but don't feel bad, you're definitely not the first to think it was called inform overlord. Easy mix up. The kingdom forgives you. King Dion says, go get a mannequin, dress it up as an adult, and put him in the background. Boom, fix. <laughs> I can't wait to see all the compilations of kids' channels doing this work around. <laughs> I think YouTube's gonna catch on. I don't think they're that easily fooled. Smash Surfing says, kids have fun on YouTube? YouTube, hold my beer. Look, kids need to stay on YouTube, kids. All right, enough said, that's what that's for. Cario says, if Johnny tall, oh my God, how tall is our potato queen? Oh, she tall. She tall, she does not need risers. Thank you for watching Inform Overload. I almost said Overlord. <laughs> Thank you for watching Inform Overload. If you enjoyed this video, why not show us some love by tapping that like and subscribe button. And if you find any news stories that you want us to cover, just send a DM to our Instagram page, at Inform Overload. And if we like it, you may just see your story on our channel. For more videos like this one, just tap that playlist on the side of the screen. And from Inform Overload, ah, I keep saying it. From Inform Overload, Mm. From Inform Overload, I'm Johnny Rogers. Until next time, take care.